energy talk. Maxed out. Welcome back to another moment in energy. We are here connecting hearts, connecting minds, connecting eyes. I'm looking directly into your soul and it's telling me, Stephen, please give me the juice. And I got it. And I got the juice for you. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for amplifying the energy. Thank you for being you. Okay, it's courageous to be yourself, and that's what we're gonna do. And that's a little sneak peek of today. Did I have caffeine today? No. And are you shocked? Yes, because I have a lot of energy. But do I need caffeine? No. Am I taking a detox because I'm doing a little ceremony? Yes. Do I think it's gonna speed up my brain too much? And I'm actually now that I'm taking the detox, I'm saying to myself, why was I drinking so much caffeine if I need to slow down? We learn. We live and we learn and we grow. Okay, we're doing it. We're feeling good. I don't need caffeine, but also I love it. So we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. And we will also see how my gym workouts go. I don't really drink that much, but I do have uh, some cups of coffee to start my day. And I just love the blood flow. So anywho, tap in today. Welcome back to Earth. Welcome back to this moment. Everything outside of your moment, the past, the future, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even exist. So let that be a clear distinction of how you're feeling right now. That's all you got to know. Hear me tapping on my heart. That's all you got to know. So Feel that. Feel that joy. You're free. You can have it all right now. And when you do that, you tune your vibration and then it starts to come into your field. And things take time. Things take time. Things take time. Material, physical takes time. Energy, manifestation. There's a gap and we're going to close that gap. So welcome to the show. Welcome to what I'm doing for you internally. So if you're tapped in and you're listening to this, you don't even have to do nothing. You just have to sit there and listen. Let's tune in. Okay, courage. We're getting courageous. I'm feeling good. Except okay. Courage. I had this really cool thought of acting courageous and this is for my freaks. Disclaimer. Side note, this is for my freaks. This is for my people that are trying to do the most and they're trying to have a breakthrough but they might be burning out, they might be overtraining, and this is from my own experience, and I wanna bring this to your awareness because it's such a fine line, and if you could start building this awareness, you could start having those breakthroughs, baby, that's what I'm about, and if you want more breakthroughs with me, you know where to find me, hit me up. Let's let's talk, let's find out what you're, you'll see, when I talk about this courage, I can help you get clearer on these decisions. So, the point is, courage is acting despite fear. It's not removing the fear. It's feeling the fear and acting. But what I want to bring to your attention is, this is so good. I had to check if it's recording. Uh, I had to bring to your attention that courage is overcoming that fear. So a lot of times we feel the fear and we let that be the action, the action acting in the fear. But we want to use the fear, overcome it, and then act courageous. So we feel the fear and we act differently. We don't act in the fear. And let me give you my example with training. With training, a lot of times I, in the past, and I don't do it as much now. That's why I'm freaking shredded. That's why I'm lifting 405 pounds. That's why I'm getting my head close to the rim. That's why I'm going to murder someone in a game. And I'm going to hand out waivers between every game. Be like, hello, welcome. You're subjecting yourself to be destroyed and murdered. So if you're willing to play a game with me, I'll have some fun. <laughs> Out of my mind. Okay. Where was I? Courage. Something about courage. Courage the cowardly dog. My fear was when I put training in, 405, and it came up again. These patterns emerge, but we break patterns and we break cycles quicker. That's the goal. That's the fun. So the pattern is I lifted 405. I'm jumping super good. I'm a little tired. And I say to myself, today's the day to push through. Today's the day I'm going to do even more, right? But is that courageous? No, because that the reason I want to do more instead of resting, which I know instinctively is the right thing to do, because I'm, I've pushed the limits multiple times already in a row, and there's a give and take, a yin and yang, is the reason I want to push is because of a fear that I didn't make enough progress, or I want to prove I made progress. I want to see the results now. I want to, I want, I don't trust that I've made progress, right? So that's fear. So if I were to work out, 
because of that thought that would be acting on those fears. But if I overcome those fears and I transcend them, I say, you know what? I'm patient. I believe in myself. I believe that those workouts, I was intuitively guided and listened so carefully to what my body needed that I'm giving it exactly right, that I'm doing the same thing now and now it's telling me to rest that that is the right feeling. Ooh, that felt good, baby. I feel like Abraham Hicks channeling. <laughs> I'm out of my mind, look. So that is the courage. So I felt the fear of, I, I wanna do this, I wanna prove this, right? But you don't act in that, you act in love, you act with the intuition, the same thing that got me to push hard in those things. So a lot of us talk about, or we think about, or I've, I've carved the mindset of the David Goggins, push, 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 right? But there is a time to rest and there is a time to understand that well, there's a time to distinguish, are you acting it? And sometimes that fear is disguised in courage. It looks like courage, but it's really fear. And then there's the, going to be the bros. Oh, you not ready to push, bro? You ain't ready to freaking push the limits? Oh, I'm ready. That's what I say. Oh, I'm ready. Okay. And that's why I'm making progress now. And other people have fallen off or have stopped because I was courageous enough to not give into that fear of what other people think. That's another whole freaking Pandora's box, but also the fear of lack, the fear of doubt, the fear of impatience, the fear of anxiety, like I need it now, I don't have proof, I need it now. Don't act in that. Act in the, in the courage of belief. Act in the trust. Act in the knowing that you know what's best. You're listening. You're patient. You're doing the best you can every single day. So this is just another step. And enjoy the rest. And the rest as in rest and stillness. And a quick side note on stillness is think of stillness also a great analogy for training. Is like when you're training abs, my trainers taught me this. A lot of times we're training movement, but then you can't do a plank. Stillness before movement. You should be able to hold a plank forever before you able to, you do leg raises and things like that. So just think about that with your action. All your actions, you can only act as much as you're still. I can only explode because of how good I sleep. And now we're going crazy with the vibration. You see how we're living now? Oh my God, I sleep like a baby. I explode like a maniac, okay? You gotta have both. You can't just explode, explode, explode. It's like a rocket that just only, ex it never refuels. That's what it's like. Have the courage to refuel. That's it. And I want you to get clear on that fear. If you want clear, clarity, clarity is a cool word, clarity on that fear, I will help you with that. That's what I love to do. I love to find those breakthroughs. And when you find those breakthroughs, my God, your life expands. And it is the most exhilarating feeling because you feel you're free of that. And now you're, you're taking steps. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead because I was doing this in one order, but this is really coming to me right now, which is... Be oh, the, the two ways you know. So beyond that clarity of that action of am I acting in fear, acting in courage, you're not going to get it right every time. And that's okay. And that's okay. So listen, there's two ways to know. One is if it excites you. For me, when I push myself to the limit and my body was, it's screaming rest. It's like, I just want touch. I said this on the podcast earlier. I was like, I just want physical touch, femininity, you know? And I got myself a massage. That massage made me feel so good, but it wouldn't have made me feel good if I feel like today where I'm like, I'm ready to fucking run through a wall, right? And if I'm trying to lay down to a massage, it's going to be hard to relax. But on other days when my body is worn down, my soul is worn down and somebody's massaging my body, it's a double entendre of indulgence. And that's what I'm telling you. And so it felt amazing. So the point is two things. The first one to get clarity is when you act in courage and you say, this is the fear I see, I'm going to transcend it, I'm going to act above it in courage. Does it bring you joy? Does it bring you happiness? Does it bring you excitement? That's one way you know that it's the right decision. But sometimes that's still cloudy. So then either way, make the action, take the step, and then you might fail. You might be like, okay, this was not the right day to rest. I have so much energy and I feel like whatever. It's, I, I should have ran or whatever. Or you act and you, and you push your limits when you think you should have rested and you overtrain, you get injured, which is the worst part if you possibly get injured, which I've had plenty of injuries. I've broken both of my hands. I have torn ligaments. I've had all these different things. I've, what else have I done? I've, I've strained my groin. I've rolled my ankle. I've whatever. Anytime you've had these injuries, you say, okay, quote unquote, I failed. But now if you're being a conscious being, which I'm doing to you right now, as you're listening to this podcast, I'm raising your consciousness. You can learn from that misstep. I don't even want to call it a failure. You can learn from that misstep. So now next time when you're making this decision, just like I have, this is what I've learned over these 10 years. I'm trying to give you the nuggets. 
is next time I'm up against that thing. I lifted 405 pounds deadlift. I'm, I, I just got my head near the rim. I just, I just uh, dunked better than ever. I feel like I should rest. And my fear goes, I, the note of the same pattern comes up. I'm like, oh, I see that fear clear as day because I've been practicing and I've been overcoming it over and over again. And I'm breaking the patterns quicker and quicker and quicker. And the more we break patterns, the more we break the simulation and we're living in a movie. Boom. That's the point. So the two things to be very clear on the clarity is one, how you feel making decisions should excite you. And if you're still unclear on that, number two, learn from the result. That's it. And just keep learning and growing and being a conscious being. So speaking of being a conscious being, let's talk about the vibration. So one thing I really loved about this past week or the last two weeks is things went up and down in my experience, like different relationships changed or different events happened. And I had great conversations and I had different things, right? And it's just all a result of my vibration. And my point is, is like things can fall out of your experience just from your vibration. So if you don't know how you're going to change something, you don't know how something's going to work out, just connect to your heart and feel good. And your vibration will, those things will fall off. So for example, I brought up this example of like, say you had an investment property and there's like legal things and all these paperwork or whatever the hell you got to do and you don't know how the hell you're going to do it. It feels like it's keeping you stuck. Just feel the gratitude of the moments and allow it to fall out because when you're vibrating, it's only going to be things in your vibration that are aligned with your vibration. And that's hard to... Uh, get to, but that is the practice and that's what's really fun. So just start to notice the things you're attracting, the thing, the conversations you're having, the people that are happening. So it's really fun. It's just a fun way to live as well when you start to notice these things, but it's really interesting how things just fall off. So let them fall off. If they're, they're, if they're not meant for you, they're not meant for you. They just fall off. And what I wrote here is connecting to your heart. So a lot of times it's like, why is this falling off? Sometimes you don't want it to fall off. You're like, I thought this was my way out. Like you had maybe a huge opportunity, right? But connect back to your heart and be like, okay, you know what? My intentions are to feel good. My intentions are to feel grateful. My intentions are to have a better life. Whatever you're trying to do is that excitement. That's what started it. And you might have planted that seed before this event started happening. But when the event starts happening, it's not what you expected. And that's the key. So while it's falling off, be like, okay, well, I trust my heart and this is falling off. So this is probably not in my vibration for some reason. And it's good. I'm, I'm creating space. So when things fall off, they create space for other things to come into your field. So that is a beautiful way to live, but that's what it's like to go with the flow. So the whole part of that courage thing is to go with your flow and get attuned to your flow of your training, know when to push, know when to rest. And the same thing is with this vibration is when you're, when you say, okay, I want to feel amazing. Right. And then something starts to fall off and you're like, oh wait, that was something that was making me feel amazing. Maybe you connected to your heart and you're feeling amazing. That thing was actually not, it was actually leading you the wrong way and you were connecting to that. And that was making you feel amazing instead of within. And so if you're doing that, it might fall off and just be like, okay, I'm, I'm seeing it as a vibration and things are just shifting in my reality. And that's what we're doing, just creating reality. It's simple as that. Okay, what else? Speaking of people in your vibration, my girl Daniela, she taught me this amazing thing about co-regulating and I wanted to share it with you. Check out her podcast, her content, Daniela Arango, amazing stuff. Co-regulating is basically your body adapting to the people you're with. So we always say you're a sum of the five people you're around and you're like, and that's a kind of a cliche thing, but think about it from a biological level. Like right now I'm talking, your brain is moving right now, making connections. So I'm literally changing your brain. So you're welcome. Number one, number two is start to notice the people you're attracting as, as a result of your vibration, but also who do you want to be and who do you want to spend time with? And what do you want your vibration to be? Cause every being you're around, you co-regulate with your body adjusts to them. So sometimes when you're around somebody for a long time, your body has to change. And just like your vibration events fall off, your body changes. So going back to the courage is start to notice how your body feels. So a lot of this is getting in tune with your body that we use. This is, this is how synchronicities work. This is how the whole universe works. Everything's connected. I use the example for courage as my training, my physical body, because it's helping me understand that courage. But when you're co-regulating, you could start to notice how different vibrations are affecting your body. So when you're in your uh, so courage, the example I gave, you can see it as if I acted in fear and then I end up being burnt out, that's because I acted in fear. My body's responding to that fear. But if I am acting in courage and I rest and I feel amazing after, then I, I was easy for me to see that my body was 
how my body's connected to the vibration I want to be at. Anyway, back to co-regulating. Start noticing how your body feels in different situations. If you're starting to feel a little sick, I was congested this week. I had pent up emotions. Okay. I cried. Okay. I let it out. I let it out. But the point is different things manifest in your physical body and you could start to notice through your body what your vibration is and vice versa. So that is just a really beautiful thing to do. And also just notice the people you're around. Who do you want to be around? How do you feel around them? And what are you attracting? And how how do you want to shift your energy? And that's what today is about. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We're 15 minutes in. I feel like I talked for 17 hours. Energy talk is feeling good. Hit me up if you want to have any questions. I would love your experiences in the comments because if you share your experiences, that really helps me help you have those breakthroughs. So I want you to start noticing for yourself. You can work with me, but if you share in the comments, if you share with me and start journaling even, you start to notice how your thoughts work. You can start to observe your thoughts and that's the goal of the day. So I hope you have a fantastic Monday. This was a lot of fun. Love all your feedback. I love all your energy. Be yourself. I put something here randomly. I'm going to end it on this really random note of chasing algorithms. A lot of times we want to do these algorithms to get the views, do these things. And I saw this guy dancing the other day, TikTok dancing. I love dancing. But if it's not your passion and you're just doing the TikTok dancing because you're like, this is getting views right now, this is the trend, then you blow up. Then you're like another just dancer. Who are you, right? But if you come to me, if you're coming to Steven Shin, it's like, he does this, he's talking about this, he's got all these different things, and he dunks too. Oh my, we need that guy. We got the guy. That's the guy. Because there's only one of those guys. But if you're just a freaking doing what all the algorithms, you just become like an algorithm bot. You don't want to do that. Be yourself. So whatever the courageous step for you is, is take that step. So I I don't even think I said this part about the failing part. So this is what I'm really going to end it on. Second ending. Taking the step. When you take that step to make the failure, that is taking the step. That is the first step. That is the step. So when I say try to get clear on the fear or the courage and overcoming the fear and acting courage, take the step. Don't get so paralyzed by, I don't know what this thought feeling is. I don't know. Take the step. Don't wait so long. If you don't, like I said, if you don't know what the feeling is, the second way to know is the result. And you can only have the result by taking the step. And that's how we're ending today. Take that first step. And I'm here for you. I'm here with you. I would love to work with you on taking that first step. And if you want to get clarity on it, we can take that first step. If you failed and you want to know what your next step is, just keep taking steps because every time you take those steps consciously and you're trying, you are going down the path. You are literally taking steps down the path. So don't let um, yourself cycle and, and stay in the same pattern. Break the pattern. And the way to break the pattern is taking a courageous step. God darn it, I am a genius, and so are you, and I love that you know that about yourself, and I'm excited for you to have the best day of all time, stay present in the moment, I cannot wait to make more videos, I cannot wait to make more content, thank you for all the love you're sharing, thank you for all sharing my content, giving me feedback, it means the world to me, and I just love everything about life, and I want to see it as a movie, and I want you guys to see my movie, so I can't take out my eyes, but I can kind of express myself, and you can feel it, and you can make your own movie, so I'm hoping that you're making your own movie. (laughs) Have a good one. Later.